Hi, welcome. This is the second tutorial on blast analysis. In our previous tutorial on blast, we learned about blast web interface, which is the most common way of blast usage. In this video tutorial, we will learn how to install blast on your local computer and run using a local or the custom database. Running blast on local computer brings several advantages such as speed and performance, data security, customization and control, offline accessibility, and uh, the absence of limits. For ease of understanding of the whole process, you can follow the instructions on this in screen before doing the tutorial. There are five steps described here. Step one is downloading and installation of the Blast executable, then set up environment variables, prepare a custom database, then actually running the BLAST analysis and obtaining the result output and few customization options. Now open your browser and search for BLAST download. Click on the link and get into the archives of BLAST executables designed for various operating systems and installation platforms. Here I will select for uh, the BLAST executable suitable for Windows operating system. After the download is completed, just install it by following the instructions. Next, what we have to do is we have to set environment variables. Once it is done, we can use these commands in anywhere, in any location or any folder inside your computer. For that, what we have to do is we have to locate the bin folder of the software installation and copy the path of it. Next, we have to open the control panel, go to systems and look for advanced system settings where we have the ability to update environment variables.
the next step is to uh, we have to construct our custom database this database can be any set of sequences protein se protein or nucleotide sequence in FASTA format for this tutorial we will be confound to proteins or if we are preferred uh, we can download NCBI's database but we have to keep in mind that the database in the NCBI is pretty large at least we have to have uh, 160 gigabyte of space to download the large NCBI database for this tutorial purpose we are going to create our own database so you can copy your FASTA files containing sequences to be used as the database into the folder where you are working on and run these commands. So we can use uh, the command prompt and go to uh, the folder where we are working on and we can use the make blast db uh, the command. And these commands are uh, you can see on the screen here db type prot indicates that this is a protein database and its name is going to be my protein db once you execute the command the database is prepared and the next what we have to do is do the blast search using a query or input sequence. At this moment, we can copy the query sequence into the same folder in FASTA format and we can run BlastP query on the command. And here in my uh, the query input or uh, protein sequence is query protein dot faster and I'm using the my protein database that I have created in the earlier step and once you execute this command inside the command prompt and we will get our result in text format. There are a few uh, customization options available such as we can manipulate the e-value or the stringency of e-value and also uh, the output format. We can have pairwise comparison, we can get the tabular format, we can have XML format as well as we can obtain it in the CSV format. And once we get the output we can export into other programs or for further analysis such as you can use Python or any other uh, sequence analytics to interpret the output.